فيا أيها القاري به متمسكا مجلا له في كل حال مبجلا بسم الله الحمد لله الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back and my name is Khalid Abu Shafi' and great to have you with us in this Tajweed podcast and Tajweed presentations. In this video number six, as we have seen in the previous videos, it's about Makharij and we have seen the principal Makharij, Makharij al-Jawf and Makharij al-Halq and this time inshallah is about Makharij al-Lisan or Makharij al-Lisan. It's about the Makharij of the tongue, the points of articulations of the tongue. In Arabic language, most of the letters are produced and sound from the tongue. So in the main area of the tongue, the Arabs have pronounced these letters in, the, in this manner. The front, which is the tip of the tongue, and then there are sides of the tongue, and also the rest would be in the middle or at the back, which is the epiglottis. So there are 17 or 18 letters of Arabic language divided into 10 makhraj, 10 points of articulation. Some of the points will have two to three letters, some of them will have one letter only. So as you can see in this slide, uh, we have uh, a description a little bit of the points of articulations in the uh, tongue. So the front of the tongue, which is close to the teeth, the front teeth and the lips is called the tip, paraful lisan, and also there are sides, and the sides is called hafatul lisan in Arabic language, and then wasatul lisan, which is the middle, and then uh, al which is the back, or Adna uh, lisan which is the closest area to the mouth, it's called uh, the Allaha. And uh, every makhraj, or every point, there are certain letters are coming from there. The Arabs used mainly the tongue for most of the sounds and most of the letters in Arabic language. So when we pronounce any word or any sound in Arabic language, do not use your lips. And I say this all the time to the students when they recite Qur'an in front of me. They try, for example, to recite uh, the letter Sad and they use their lips. Try to recite uh, letters Ra and say Orwa. And they try to pu put their lips forward. So lips have nothing to do with the letters that from the tongue. So when you pronounce the Sad or the Ra, or lamb, or qaf, or kaf, or ta, or ta, do not use your lips. Which means lips doesn't have anything to do, do not have anything to do with the makharij and lisan, which is the points of articulations of the tongue. So we are going to see this in details. For the time being, Jazakumullahu khairan for watching and listening. And come again, and inshallah, I will uh, upload more videos and pro, inshallah will progress through the tajweed and read with me. Fa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.